morning everyone so today i'm starting off with my favorite breakfast it's called bok chow mee which is like a minced meat vinegar mushroom noodle that you can find pretty much anywhere in singapore this one happens to be near the food court or hawker center near bloom and it's just so so good so you have my delicious kind of like larger noodles than usual with mushroom and meat and it is so good and of course i can't forget my one dollar fifty iced coffee or iced kopi and you can order this siu thai which means less sugar then it's up to bloom studio one and it's time for some classes i've been really enjoying teaching here i just love it so it's been probably around i would say a couple maybe one or two weeks since I've opened Bloom to my students and it looks like they kind of really like it. They love the natural lighting and it's just been really good. I just love it here because I have, first of all, I have a trash can and a toilet just right there. I don't have to climb the stairs to go to do those things. Um, and I just love how it is just totally a reflection of me in the space and it feels comfortable. I know it's not as big as my like previous one, but I don't think I need that much space anymore. I'm just really content and really happy with the way it's turned out. And I wouldn't say I would have done it before, like back then, because I kind of needed um, to kind of establish some kind of credibility and reputation with a larger space. But now that I don't really have to do that, I can just kind of do my best in this kind of space which I really like and yeah so it's been good um, things are starting to settle down really nicely and I'm just starting to go back into the groove of things here's a little clip of my basic eyeshadow class you can actually join a trial class if you've never been here before for $45 per pack the sign up is below and I'd love to see you of course after class I went for my lunch and usually it's a not so healthy salad but this is mint yogurt dressing just Thing. Hey guys, so I'm back in Bloom and I got myself a little treat. This happens to be Tohua, which is kind of like a soybean jelly dessert. It is so good. Mmm. It's so good. So refreshing. Have you guys had Tohua before? Let me know in the comment section below. After this, it's time for my pre wed shoot makeup for my friend Wern. So I just did my thing. She shooted in the botanic gardens and she just wanted really natural makeup and hair. And it was just really fun having my friends over and getting that done. So this is how it looks. I hope you like it too. Hey guys, so I'm finally finished with uh, work today on Saturday. And now Jacob and I are going to the Yayoi Kasuma exhibition. Finally, I get to enjoy my weekend with Jacob. So we are going to the Yayoi Kasuma exhibition at the National Gallery of Singapore. It is highly, highly, highly very well attended too, as you can tell. The queue is insane. Always make sure you go and pre-book your tickets online first if you don't want to wait in that super long line. Now I'm going to be honest with you, I had no idea who Yayoi Kusuma was before she ever came to Singapore and did this gallery. And I think coming from that perspective, the artwork is actually really interesting. It's very modern, very dot-like, it's very psychedelic, so it's just a really fun weekend. Just be aware of the lines. You have to queue to even get into the exhibitions after you even queue for your ticket. So we went on a Saturday evening, so make sure you maybe go on the weekday if you can take leave or something like that because the lines are insane. Hey guys, we're about to go in. We've been queuing for a very long time. But other than that though, it's actually really fun to see and really quite an immersive experience if you love art and modern art for that matter. So yeah, it was really fun to go. I guess I would recommend it. Hey guys, so right now we've just finished the exhibition and it was really nice. It was really, I think, quite amazing to see. And we're gonna go have um, dinner at an amazing Italian restaurant. It's like my favorite Italian restaurant. Guys, if you need a good recommendation for an Italian restaurant in Singapore, you have to go to Pietra Santa. It's amazing. The food is really, really authentic, I think, close to being in Italy itself. I mean, 
look at this. This is actually a tomato sauce dip, but I took it as a shot. It was embarrassing. But we also have ravioli and also tiramisu, my favorite. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please share, like, and subscribe, and comment below with what you think. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!